everyone, this is Jules from Paper Gems by Jules, and today I'm working with two new products by Unity Stamp Company. Um, the first is Be a Flamingo Stamp Set. Um, I, I've already colored it and cut it out already, so it's on the side because I wanted to focus on the new stencil, um, the Star Confetti Stencil. This is a new product um, by Unity Stamp, and um, it's so cool, it's so fun, so versatile. And so I'm starting with the background. I'm just kind of laying out some color. I have some recollection um, paper that I have in my stash here. And just adding a little more dimension by using some Gina K colors. I started with the Blue Lagoon color um, going from li lightest to darkest. And next I'm adding the Tranquil Teal. And I'm going super fast because you kind of get the gist of this part. Um, and then the last color is going to be in the navy, which is one of my favorite colors by Gina Kay. Um, so I'm just kind of adding a little more depth to the image, um, and then I'm going to add this stencil. Um, because I'm going sideways on the card, I'm going to go catty corner the stencil. Um, I did already use some of that pixie spray to keep it still since I am also using deco foil metallics in a white pearl. Um, I tried using uh, a technique by Jennifer McGuire and I just thought it looked like a hot mess. So I figured let me try to use this. Um, it has a little more um, thickness, the, the gel, so it will, as you can see right now, will come out of the stencil neater. Um, so I love that and it does give it a little um, texture and dimension. So I set that aside to dry and now I'm doing the lower half of the beach. I'm doing a night beach scene with a beautiful flamingo and so I am starting with some amalgam ink just because that's what I had um, in my stash, um, the warm glow. Um, so I'm starting a little bit with that and then I wanted a little more um, darkness in it because it is a night scene so it made more sense so I uh, pulled out an old uh, Stampin' Up! ink pad early espresso um, and did that on the bottom to just make it a little darker. So now I wanted to add more stars in the background and this is a fun product. It's uh, Spectrum Noir's Glitter Ink in Sparkle. So it's clear, you know, it's comparable to um, either Wink of Stella or even Perfect Pearls. So just splatter that in the background. Um, as it lightens, it's just gonna be spots of glitter. And who doesn't love glitter? All right, so I'm done with that. I'm letting that settle. Um, just give it a minute. You can see the sparkle there. So once that's all dried, now to put it all together. So I'm adhering the sand portion. Um, I ripped the edge to kind of give it a little more of a distressed look, just not an even edge. Um, so I put that on and now I stamp the sentiment. Now the sentiment is so cool. There's two sentiments in the, um, in the stamp set. This one says, stand tall, stand out, stay balanced, dream big. So I love that, especially with the night scene. So I made it almost look like a little bit of a moon. Um, I got some ink on the side, so I'm just trying to get that out. But um, then I added the the pretty tropical leaves in the background, and again, keeping with the element of this card with a little more, you know, extra. Let's say um, I added the foam squares to the flamingo so that way it pops up a little bit and we're going to put some of the leaves behind it and some of the leaves in front of it. Um, I like using this uh, scrapbook adhesive um, foam squares. I also like using the thin ones if I want to do several layers. Um, that way it doesn't make the card too too bulky but this was just going to be one um, layer of pop-ups. So uh, I was figuring I liked it there but I also wanted to use the other one so I'm going to stick down another one of those tropical leaves um, so that way it kind of covers the bottom part of that top one put our pretty little flamingo there and then I'm just going to add the um, the last set of leaves um, in front of it so I'm just going to pop that up but I'm going to make sure that it doesn't um, entangle itself with the flamingo so we're pretty much done. I'm just going to add this to the card base now. And this card is 
ready and done. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you can uh, find different ways to use not only this stencil, but this new stamp set. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them on the bottom. Thank you.